Hey guys, good morning. Today is Tuesday. I have a shoot this morning and I decided to bring you guys along with me. And I woke up at 6 a.m. this morning. My appointment, or I'm supposed to be at a location at 7.50 or 7.40. So I'm still kind of on time. I will get there before 7.50. Hopefully the traffic does not stop me. I keep wanting to say Tuesday but it's actually Wednesday this is one thing with whenever I go out to work like I miss a whole day in my brain system or in my mind anyways um, today's Wednesday I've been working I wanted to initially go out to work but I had a call a meeting this morning I had to stay home to have the meeting and then from there I decided to just continue working yesterday I got home at like 12 o'clock I believe we went to like Chile. I don't know if you're in Istanbul. Um, Chile is like where the beach is. So we went to Chile and then we came back at like 12 o'clock. It was such a long day. I woke up at 6 a.m. I packed. I'm sure I showed you guys all of that. I packed and got ready and left for work. We finished at literally at 10 or so. 10.30 and the drive to my house was like 40-50 minutes. So that's how my day went yesterday i literally woke up with like a swollen eye but it has calmed down now since i've stayed awake for a while apparently there was a celebrity there i found out when we like started having the shoots and the way people were treating him i was like mm, this guy is giving celebrity vibes <laughs> and lo and behold i asked the other models that i was working with they said he's a celebrity so i'm like oh oh so we're working celebrities now oh all right cool it was a nice experience it was really cool working with him i cannot say who the person is until the commercial is out i cannot post the pictures or behind the scenes until the commercial is out which was why i didn't vlog yesterday i couldn't vlog much because well there we can't post about the vlog uh, we can't post about the shoot we couldn't show who we worked with and all of that good stuff so we had to like not post anything about the actor the music he's not an actor he's a musician um i'm just going to go back to editing and hoping you guys are doing okay all right i like asking you guys hope you're okay because it's just something i love to do i love to make sure you're okay like if i'm talking to my friend i'm like oh are you okay by the way because people are going through things man <laughs> people are going through things you don't know what they're going through so if you if all you can offer is a listening ear because sometimes you just need a listening ear if all you can offer is a listening ear then you can definitely do that i know you can be going through your own issues but sometimes just having a listening ear for someone else who might be going through something you offering them a listening ear can go a long way it doesn't mean you should go back and talk about them or do anything sometimes you just want to pour out their heart and i think it's okay to do that i think it's okay to just have someone pour out their heart and you just listen and that's it i think that's what i learned <laughs> i've been reading my book the book i was talking about last week i've been reading it i read it yesterday and the topic i read about was being a good conversationalist and what it said was be be a good listener and automatically you're a good conversationalist so i'm going to start implementing that into my life so if you're talking to me i'm just going to keep quiet and listen to you okay so in case i'm quiet i'm just listening <laughs> anyways um that's it i'm just trying to improve myself in ways i feel i need to improve because I used to be someone that would think oh when i'm having a conversation with somebody it's a two-way thing so you say one thing and then i give you my feedback and then i say my own and you give me your feedback but i think sometimes sometimes people just want you to listen and i got to understand that with some of my friends when they call me when i analyze the situation i'm like okay this person wants me to listen i know the friends that call me for me to just listen 
and sometimes I told one of my friends that okay if you're calling me and you want my advice or you want me to listen just let me know or I may ask in the beginning do you want my advice or do you want me to just listen or do you want to just like rant then I know how to address that situation not because sometimes as a friend I would want to give my own advice or give my own thoughts but sometimes they're just calling you to just rant because you are their safe space so yeah that's it guys <laughs> that's me telling you guys what i'm learning from my book that i'm reading i often tell you guys currently reading i'm putting it to myself to try to finish this book at least this month so hopefully i do that so hi so i've recorded two videos i'm currently about to start my third one but i wanted a different look and i decided to bring out this old wig like so this is sort of like i don't know it's human hair but i don't think it's like necessarily high quality human hair but it's soft and it feels nice i decided to try to see if i can restyle it and see where i can go with that there's just something about the wig. I feel it has so much potential, but I don't feel like I'm using all of the potential it has. So I'm trying to see if I can give it some potential, okay? So this is what I ended up with, it's just a simple low bun with like a side fringe. I think this just being here is perfect. Guys, I realized my fringe were not, what's the word, were not the same. I think I cut too much on this end when I was doing the video. So it's just a very funny situation. Anyways, this is what it's looking like and I'm going to go try to do my video now. I have been editing a video since I finished creating content so I created content for the video the video I just finished editing is not part of the content I created today um, it's a hairstyle video I want it to go up tomorrow so I'm hoping I'm able to do all of the setup this evening before I go to bed so I'm able to you know schedule it for tomorrow and tomorrow i have a job i just got told i have a job i was thinking the job was going to be next week but apparently it's tomorrow and i'm supposed to be there at 8 a.m so i have to like prep for the job for tomorrow so basically what i'm going to try to do is i'm going to try to set my makeup stuff i am tired my eyes are showing that's that i'm going to now pack my bag and the video I just recently put it to upload so it's about 12 minutes left <laughs> at this point I'm rambling because I don't have a direction as to what I'm saying but I just wanted to come in and update you guys with I have a job this morning um, I decided to hopefully vlog if I can and if I cannot you guys will see me probably when I get back home let me just show you guys my outfit it is just this white top I got from Zara and these palazzo pants that I've had for years and these slippers a very simple outfit and I love it I came quite early I believe this is where I'm supposed to go to but I came quite early so I just called the agent that sent me the job to tell her that okay i'm here please contact the people that i'm supposed to work with or something like that anyways so i'm currently waiting for them i'm actually very early i came very very early because <laughs> i thought there was going to be traffic so i decided to leave home an hour before but apparently it was like 20 minutes so yeah now i'm just waiting for them i was supposed to be here at 8 30 so still very early i don't even think I personally feel like the people are not at their place of work yet 
anyways um that's pretty much it i'm going to let you guys know how my day is going i hope you guys are having a good friday you guys probably not see this but you get what i mean i hope you had a good friday my lips because i'm not really feeling my lips i was not really feeling the lip color and i actually entered the metro bus like that and came back home like i was very on board anyways um i just got back home this is my makeup or this was my makeup i had during the shoot it's not bad it was done by like a russian lady she seems to kind of know how to do makeup kind of not very well but like when she was doing it i was kind of like e I was very cautious and she noticed I was cautious so she was like don't worry she will try her best I'm not mad I'm not mad but it's so funny how like when they do makeup they don't like use concealer around your brows they just let it sit and me whenever I don't use concealer on my brow it just feels very rowdy I feel it feels very rowdy but I'm not mad when I went there th um, this morning she came to meet me and she asked me do you by any chance have your foundation color and I just looked at her and I said yes and I'm thinking to myself what if I was someone or what if I decided to stop taking my makeup or to stop, stop taking my foundation because I'm actually really thinking of how I can reduce my set because it's so big it's like extra load whenever I go for shoots and other Russian or Turkish girls are there they just come with one bag and then you see me with like my makeup bag and my handbag like it's so stressful and or maybe I should just get a bigger bag that can carry everything but it still weighs me down anyways that's it it's so frustrating because if I choose to not go on set with um without my makeup oh my goodness the type of makeup they're going to do on my face i'm not going to be able to be confident in my work because i realized when my face just looks weird my mood is just weird because it's just like who is this like what are you doing but i'm starting to like understand that you just have to give this makeup artist benefit of the doubt just bring your product and give them benefit of the doubt i give them benefit of the doubt on my face but my my eyebrows my eyebrows that's like the main look if you ruin my eyebrows you ruin the whole makeup it doesn't matter how much you how good the rest of the makeup is that's my mind anyways um i just got back home it's currently 6 32 but it's like still sunny outside that's the good thing about summer one of the reasons why i came to speak with you guys was because i received a package from a brand in cyprus this brand was created in cyprus and it's owned by a nigerian he reached out to me he's actually we are cool i know him he reached out to me on my birthday and said he wanted to send me a few things and i was like all right i'm definitely open to that sent it and this is the package it came in a yachty cargo bag i'm not going to show you guys yachty cargo bag. this is how it came is this packaging not cute i think it's really cute i thought it was just going to be one piece of clothing but apparently it's not it's more than one so let's check it out let's do a mini unboxing so i'm just going to open it up now and oh oh wow it's a lot <laughs> it's a lot so they sent these socks i really love the socks for winter time because they're like cozy you can wear them at home you can wear them with your boots you can wear them 
with your sneakers they're like a vibe and they're very thick like the quality is nice okay the quality is nice it's thick as you can see i don't know if you guys can see from the camera it's very thick and it also came in color white if you know me you know i love white socks i love white socks let's say i have like 20 socks 17 are white and three pairs are like colored <laughs> but yeah anyways it also comes in a white color as well so these are the two colors and then oh oh this is nice oh it also has a thank you card okay there's the logo there's the barcode where you can scan to check out their instagram page and it says welcome so this is their instagram page guys i know they pronounce it absa um so the first clothing item is a cropped oh this is cute the quality is nice oh my do you know what this is giving it's giving cargo pants and you know that you know those slim glasses and afro or braids that's what it's giving that's what it's giving that's what this is giving i should definitely do like a look on my fashion page what do you guys think but yeah this is how it came it's definitely beautiful i love it i love the color blend but i'm literally wearing a maroon trouser literally guys like it matches like who could have thought do you get like who could i could literally go out like this and it, people will think it's a set you feel me people would definitely think it's a set because it matches perfectly well with the trousers and i also received a crop top oh <laughs> guys i feel like most of the shirts i own or top i own are all crop tops so if you know me you know i love crop tops and this this is perfectly fine this is giving 90s vibes it's giving one of those you know let's throw it back to the 90s type of outfit that's what i'm thinking of how i would style this so i think i'm going to do a a video on this for my fashion page very soon i've been taking it i've been trying to um align the type of outfits i want to post but i think i'm just going to post how i want to dress because the outfits i see people put together on instagram i'm thinking are you going out with this outfit or not are you really going out with this outfit or are you just here to deceive people but for me the outfits i want to put on my page are the outfits i go out with so yeah so that's that for for these items i'm really glad i love the detailing and the quality of the top i don't know if you guys can see it's like thick and very nice i love that it also has like the logo at the back and a drawing in front like an angel type of thing i think it's really cute i think it's really nice i think i'm going to style it i can actually no okay the the crop top doesn't really match well with the pants i'm currently wearing but i really love it i love this i'm definitely going to style it make a video on how to style it so yeah that's it guys let me know what you guys think about absa if you want to check it out please support him if you're in cyprus or turkey or wherever i believe they ship worldwide so if you're in cyprus or turkey then definitely you can check them out okay so yeah that's it guys um i'm going to look for what to eat i got two croissants on my way back home so i'll probably warm them up and eat them to gather my energy before i continue my day so i'll speak to you guys whenever I speak to you guys <laughs> bye hi guys good morning today is sunday i'm currently on my way to church um i woke up kind of late ish so i decided to just quickly hurry up and get ready so i can be on my way because i don't want to be late for church like late per se i'll try to make a video inside the church so if you're in istanbul and you want to attend a church that is nice i think the church is nice so if you want to attend it i'm going to show you guys the church today mm, the church is in levet or you can just type river istanbul church yeah river istanbul church that's the church i attend anyways um i was just coming and checking with you guys to know how you guys are doing uh, happy sunday so i'm thinking of getting new makeup i know i've been mentioning it but i think i'm ready because my 
foundation is finished my concealer is finished i used not i used mac my mac concealer i have this backup concealer in case of anything it's a bit lighter than my normal shade but it's actually okay and i also used my skin tint from fenty beauty but i'm going to get but i'm going to get nash concealer and foundation nas foundation i'm going to try it out that's the foundation i'm thinking of getting next so yeah that's it guys uh, i'm going to speak to you guys when i can speak to you guys bye church like church was great church was nice the message was great i tried to do a little snippet in church like just to show you guys how the church is it's it's like english and french so basically the pastors preaches in english and then it trans it's translated into french because there are some francophone people in the church as well so it just kind of helps both and then there's also a turkish version in the evening so if you're interested you can check out the church it's called river istanbul let me just quickly show you guys the outfit i wore to church today let me set you guys down here so my outfit was this brown bodysuit i think it's from stradivarius it's just a very simple nice outfit and um, bodysuit i love it and i'm also wearing this black pants it's just a simple black pants i like it but i wish it was tighter on my skin on my skin on my body and i wish my belt would go tighter because i hated i hated this the belt was doing i wore these heels from mango and i added it with this bag so so that was pretty much my outfit for today not doing too much a very simple outfit because i didn't want to do so much i just wanted to go simple and come back home and that's pretty much it